So this is the castle lost with two force. This mezzanine was a bit of an afterthought actually because I had this frame. So we made the made the roof quite high and it just happened to fit another floor. As you can see this is just exposed calamina. You can almost cook an egg on this. <laughs> and there's light coming in here. So it's sort of drafty in the day it's like hot and in the night it's cold. So we looked at insulating it with uh, commercial materials and it was going to cost over a thousand dollars and uh, so in this video we're going to show you how we are insulating this with basically with very little cost we'll keep a tally for you so the first thing we're going to do is like weld some supports here that, that are going to hold the bamboo running this way we'll take the roof off and once the bamboo's put on we'll put uh, mud on top and then we're going to put the same um, roofing on with calamina walking over to our neighbor's property that grows bamboo. And he was actually gonna give it to us for free, just let us come in and take it, but we offered to pay him. Still a really good price, and he also gets, makes some money from it. And we still need like two or three more loads of bamboo. It's a lot of work, but I actually really enjoy cutting bamboo. It's kind of weird. Do you enjoy it? Yeah. You do? Yeah. It's hard. It's, <laughs> it's hard work, but it's good. Yes, bamboo. One of the materials we use a lot for car tires that come into strips. And if you know the knot, it's super easy. So we go around and up and that's like a tightening knot a slip knot and it's not gonna lose the load around a full loop and up through that gap Wait. done and up through there yeah Yeah, good student. Hey, <laughs> look at that. This is my day-to-day -day life. <laughs> so first we're going to get some metal beams. And these are going to be used to support the bamboo. Get a cloth, put some gasoline on it, and we're going to clean the oil off because these things come with oil on them to stop the rusting. I'm gonna give it a lick of paint. So we're just going to do the last few cuts and welds for the support structure and we had these kind of new structures for the roofing there's like three of them on each side and what we've done is put these guys along and welded at the top what we're also going to do is put an a-frame we've got one at the top which will help keep them apart and be more weight, hopefully, a ton of mud. We're gonna find out tomorrow. Yes, I was a little bit worried that we're gonna go under a specification in terms of uh, weight load. So we've doubled the number of down beams, these A-frames that we're welded together. And that's the biggest cost in the project. It's, uh, yeah, $50. So instead of spending a thousand, we're probably gonna come out at around $70, I'd say, for this project.
And now we've got the bamboo that we were collecting over the last uh, couple of weeks and we're cutting it to the right length. We've peeled it, taken the, like the leaves off it and we're just securing it uh, to the roof. <laughs> Getting better with each one, yeah? We got the A crew on it. Nico's doing the sewing. Yeah. <laughs> Millie's putting up the last of the bamboo. What we're gonna try and do is fill in the spaces with some short pieces. We're just putting a nice tight weave on it is a nice trick. Putting a piece of bamboo underneath to tie it together helps control the spacing, put it all level and actually strengthens. So we're using the mud which was from the when we dug the pond and we made a donut with it first filled it with water stepped in it mixed as much as we could and then left water in it for two days and then came back did it again and it's like that you can just uh, make it an equal consistency without playing with your hands and it's quick and this is the third day we had a little bit more water and Alice had a little dance in it and we added some straw that we'd um, grown from here and then some volunteers thanks to those ones uh, cut it up and uh, and that's we've mixed that in and that's going to help it um, prevent it from cracking because we're just going to put a thin layer above the bamboo so we're going to cover the roof the bamboo with plastic and then put the mud on top of that and then the calamina Gotta find the hole along this the support here. Yeah. Make a hole in the plastic okay. so that I can see where it is. Okay. And then and then what you have to do is put the, the hook. Kind of day two of actually doing the roof. We had three volunteers that left yesterday that got it to where we could put the mud on, which is huge. So we were able to let it dry overnight. And we missed a little bit of time this morning. We would have preferred to put the roof on uh, to try to avoid. You know, we want to miss the rain, obviously, <laughs> because we had a family of five arrive today that are staying with us a couple of weeks. They're all in to help us finish off the roof. They're here to volunteer a couple and their three kids, triplets actually. So we're just going to finish up putting on a little extra layer of mud to make sure that it's really going to be insulating. Then we'll be putting the roof back on and I can't wait. And we're back. Hello. <laughs> We got our own YouTube channel called The Traveling Triplets. Tell them. We've got our own YouTube channel called The Traveling Triplets. Please watch. Hey. What's it about? Us We're traveling. Us and this is probably the best place we've ever been to so far. So, so far we've done three months. So I totally could skip out on showing this part in this video. But I'm going to anyways, so that possibly you can learn a lesson from our mistakes. 
We've been doing the best we can with the people we have. Everyone's been doing great working together as a team. Um, but we got a little confident with the weather and it snuck up on us last night. It was not worth the risk and the gamble. Simon and I woke up in the middle of the night to a storm and with the sense of urgency, found plastic around the property that we were using for different things and covered the roof because it became a mudslide. It could have been worse, but it's still not pretty. We had to take everything out of here. Mud was just coming down this side of the wall. This side wasn't so bad because the plastic on the roof covered this side. It wasn't quite long enough to cover on this side. We just had to work with what we had and mm, yeah. Simon and I were moving this ladder back and forth. He was moving the ladder. I was tying rope to this plastic. He was pulling on one side. I was using the coat hanger to push up the plastic on the other to get it to cover the roof. And we were doing this back and forth until the roof was covered with the plastic and the cold rain wind. And uh, upstairs. Okay, so it looks like this morning they dried as much as they could because this floor isn't treated. We're planning on making this floor really nice. Very hard lesson learned. <laughs> and uh, the mud slid off both sides in a couple of spaces. It wasn't a light rain. It came down pretty hard, luckily for just a couple hours. By the time Simon and I completely put the plastic on, the rain stopped, of course. It's rainy season here, so it just wasn't smart at all to go to bed without this covered with plastic. Simon and Masan, the father of the family that's staying with us for a couple of weeks, they've been working all morning on re-mudding this side of the roof and getting the roof on. We still have a few hooks that we gotta put up from the bottom to put on with washers and bolts. But hallelujah, we got a roof on on this side. Okay, well, we've got half of the roof done, and I think what we learned from this process is not to take the like the middle off, because to put it back on we've really suffered. And on the other side, where we did it, when there are storms and the wind goes different directions, it leaks. So on this side here, we're actually going to do it by leaving the, the sheets on. We're welding the supports and just sliding the bamboo, and we're not going to put mud on top of it or plastic. But I believe the air pocket inside the bamboo is going to provide an insulated value. Definitely help reflect off some of this heat in the afternoons and probably keep some of the heat in, in, the, in the night. So you can see over here we've, we've started that and it's going a lot quicker. But already even just with half of this insulated it's uh, quite bearable. Like right now it's cooking outside. We've got the solar oven charging uh, with tomatoes and the bananas. But um, it's really bearable here, it's not hot at all. And uh, before you feel that, that refractive heat inside, it does slowly heat up the air and, and, and having the doors open because we're constructing right now, as I guess it's got more airflow, so we can't feel the accumulative heat of this exposed roof. You know, once we finish this bamboo, it's gonna look a lot, a lot nicer and, and probably not heat the, heat the air up in here even when the doors close not as much so thank you for taking part in another one of our projects especially to our patrons for financially contributing and making this process a lot smoother and easier thanks and we'll see you guys in the next video all right let us know uh, any of your ideas uh, for insulating the roof obviously we have to use some chemical on this to treat against termites uh, but uh, yeah catch you